So do I put myself in, in a different place? Do you get taken to a different place? Personally, I can't help being rooted in now. He's an artist, but reluctantly, I think. Unconventional, jaw-dropping, hilarious. He's a troubadour with a loop station. He's a surreal performer. I like to say that he's like a combination of Richard Thompson and Buster Keaton. He's terrifying. Unpredictable, difficult, erratic, and somewhat confrontational sometimes. It's like watching somebody who wants to just play pretty songs and then another guy who wants to stop that guy at all costs. They said, oh, he's bonkers, he's completely insane. It just starts out and it's a loop station and a guitar, and then things start to go a bit strange and awkward. Shirt off, dancing, beatboxing. I think he ate a banana and then sang whilst eating yeah, banana at one point. Yeah, a banana. He did a duet with a rape alarm. And somebody from the crowd shouted, you shit. Sometimes he seems like he's just begging for someone to come up and punch him. How much love can a boy contain in here? When people talk about David, they think about the performance, you know, just crazy. As a songwriter, he's astonishing. At the heart of it, there are songs of great beauty and delicacy. And he covers it and shrouds it in feedback and noise. But then it's still there at the heart. That's worth the journey for the audience. Thank <laughs> you.